Alright guys, today we're gonna kill some boy kisses, but first we need to install uh, the mod. So first things first, we're gonna have to get zdoom.org uh, and we're gonna download either gzdoom or lzdoom. For instance, I just uh, download lzdoom here. And then once you're done, you can extract lzdoom. I am using 7-zip, I'm gonna go ahead and extract. Now you can't launch the game in this moment because you don't have something called an iWOD. Usually it's like doom 2wad or something. You can find it in like your Steam apps folder and then you can get like, uh, you can go to the ultimate doom. You can copy one of the WAD files either from re-release or the base folder, which is like the DOS version of doom, the original version. Uh, if you don't, if you couldn't afford, uh, doom, you could try something like free doom. Which is in, uh, freedoom.github.io. You're gonna go download this, and you're gonna download Freedom Phase 1 plus 2. And then what? And then wait for it. And then once it uh, works, you're gonna go ahead and once it finishes downloading, you're gonna drag these WAD files over here. And then, yeah. And then once you. Uh, once you are finished installing the game, go to uh, ModDB and find the Boykester mod. So just search it up on Google, and then there should be this Boykester mod. Uh, not an add-on, so I'm going to link the mod page anyway on this, on this video. So here we go. This one is Boykisters v1, and as you see I'm going to download now. We can actually try both versions of this uh, video. You can't load two versions of the same mod though, so just be aware of that. But yeah. Once you uh, go ahead and download the Boykisser mod, you're gonna want to drag the Boykisser mod into your Doom folder. Here you go. And then once you go ahead and have everything installed, you're also gonna download a tool called ZDL. And then Go to releases version 3-1.1. Click on the Win x86 if you're on Windows or Linux if you're on Linux. Click on the zip file. Just drag the ZDL exe into the Doom directory. Click on ZDL. I already have my ZDL set up, but basically you're just going to want to uh, go to your general settings and then configure your ports. So basically if you want to create a new port, say you're going to add items, downloads, and then the thing you just did, and it will add the port. And then if you want to add some iWads, it's really easy. You just got to download, uh, got to go to the folder where you installed uh, LZ Doom, sorry, and then pick your iWad. Open it up. There you go. And it's ready. I, would have, I already have everything installed, so I don't need to do this. But, um, if you want to watch the mods in a specific order, uh, you can go ahead and launch, like, the Boy Kisser mod. Now, if you have, like, Brutal Doom, you have to launch Brutal Doom first, and then the Boy Kisser mod right after. So, I'm gonna go ahead and download Brutal Doom. And I'm gonna download Brutal Doom. V21. And I'm gonna wait for that to download as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get done. Extract Brutal Doom over here. There you go. And then drag Brutal Doom. Rearrange the order by clicking on this down button. And there you go. You have Brutal Doom. And then if you have Free Doom installed, you can play the game now. So basically, here, let me see. I don't know. My view kind of looks like this. But yeah, it should look like this. Um, if not, then you could like always expand the view. I don't know really how I did this, but yeah, I think it should look like this When you launch the thing It will probably load for a bit and then You can see that it's installed just for you. So yep It takes a little while to launch because ZDoom sucks But yeah, it, it probably works. There you go Me too Finish the volume a bit. There you go. So as you can see, it is installed. 
Yeah, there you go. So as you can see, the mod is is fully installed. You do have to customize your controls, but other than that, really, you can play the mod. Yeah. So that's how you install the mod. That's it.